this stuff before it's published. Right, so I'm just doing a part two on this one. I'm so just checking this to see where it ended. Right, yeah. Got it. Right, this area uh, is one of the areas they slapped a antisocial behaviour dispersal order on this park. Uh, well renowned, renowned in the area for um, drinkers and smokers um, because it's easy to easy to move around the park and you can see you can see if there's officials coming basically so uh, but the Eastern Europeans tend to congregate in the parks to drink. Um, an old man got mugged in the uh, park there um, and his dog bit, bit the people uh, but they still haven't caught them so that's one area that's got 10 cases right so that's blanket surveillance area now smart track and trace page two there's five of them right so it's actually showing you what areas um, my area is on that list and there's eight cases here apparently. So skip all the writing. Woodston and Westtown, eight cases. That's another area that had a uh, dispersal order placed on it. Glinton, North, Brat and Maxi, that's where I live. Uh, at least three cases right that's officially because people can't get tests you got some senile old lady uh, dictating terms talking to you like you're some sort of an idiot um, and then denying you the test because you might be fraudulently asking for a test even though your doctor referred you to ask for one so yeah load of bullshit um, Breton Park, so that's where I usually go shopping. Eight cases. Barnet, Wittering, and Wandsford, seven cases. So that's the Royal Air Force bases area. So that would be hitting the military soon. Newborough and Peacock, that's the next village is up the line. Um, at least three cases. Palmwell, at least three cases. Dogsthorpe, well, Palmwell. Palmwell and Dog's Fault. Other areas that had antisocial dispersal orders, uh, apparently from uh, intelligence led, which is off smartphones, obviously, um, intelligence. So, blanket surveillance of the area's smartphones uh, for suspicion of a crime. So, if they suspect there's uh, drugs involved, they can blanket surveillance the area. Which is a bit out of order when you think about it. Because not everybody takes drugs, do they? But if they blanket surveil an area, then uh, that's mass abuse of power, isn't it? So that area there. North Breton and Westwood, five cases. That's where my grandson lives. The Ortons, five cases. Iron Thorny, that's where the vulture is, or where the vulture article was from. Nice and scenic out there, picture book country. And there's a manor house out there, so all the houses look the same. You know, it's 
it's like something out of Dickens area where uh, you get a manor house and then you get all these identical houses. That sort of area. Four cases there. Longthorpe and Neverton. That's the road that leads up to Thorpewood Police Station. The Abuse Centre, as it's now known. Um, so it's all around them. Three cases there. Millfield, as you can see, European and uh, Asian Muslim area. Um, basically, they do what they want there. They park where and as they want. Um, there's outdoor cafes. It's very European area. Um, I never have any problems when I go down there. Um, it's a very unified area. Um, people are always nice and friendly. Um, but the authorities are having a clamp down there because uh, they accused the local council of um, misappropriating about seven and a half million pound, I think it was, that was earmarked for that area's redevelopment for community centres and that sort of stuff. Um, since they did that and complained about the misappropriation of funds and set up a Facebook group about it, um, the council and the police have been in there uh, winding them up, uh, traffic enforcement, uh, pushing people about, ordering people off the streets if they're uh, suspected of having a cold, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's heating up in this city. Uh, something's got to give at some point. Um, but the fact they're clamping down on the area with less than the uh, high spike areas sort of tells you that's a bit more racial, doesn't it? But there you go, we won't say nothing about that because uh, there's no institutional racism in the police, is there? Or the local councils. They just boss people about and tell people what to do. Flatten, three cases there. Paston. Three cases, that's another area that had uh, antisocial dispersal orders put on it. Orton and Castor, three cases, another area that had uh, dispersal orders put on it. Warrington, another area that had, uh, and that's just down the road that way a bit, um, that had dispersal orders placed on it as well. Gets a bit leery over that area. Um, three cases there, so... It's not about uh, COVID, is it? It's about um, groups of bored teenagers who've got nothing to do now because they can't go to pubs or clubs. So they go into parks and talking to their mates in parks. Well, that's enough of that. Um, let's have a look at the national media. This is the easiest site I'll go to because there are other sites, but off find everything I need to know there. Uh, if I need to look into anything further, I'll just look about on other media sites. But this one gives you a rough idea of what's going on. Wales bans travellers from rest of UK COVID hotspots. PM wants to avoid misery of second national lockdown. Of course you do, you idiot. Um, state of emergency in France. So there's nighttime lockdown imposed on Paris and eight other cities. That's because they've all started protesting again. So once again, it's clamped down on anti-government protest, using a virus as an excuse to do it. But it's security clampdowns because uh, top of the tree in all the countries are losing control. People are waking up and had enough of it. Um, here we go, here's the test and trace consultants paid equivalent of 1.5 million salaries, ridiculous. Uh, here comes the project fear again, 137 deaths. Scotland and Manchester agree and Lancashire should go into tier three lockdown. Ugh, mate, see, it's just ridiculous. Bungling burglar leaves his name and address at crime scene. What a twat. Yeah, Liverpool, um, they're defying um, the regulations. But a lot of people up there 
have been um, notifying the council of um, Article 61, lawful peaceful rebellion, and all of a sudden it's been placed in the highest possible tier. Of course there's no connection, is there? Because it's all about the Rona. But it's about challenging authority and who's challenging authority, really. Hearing loss, new uh, new symptom they've come across. Hospitals not prepared to cope for over next six months. You know, it's supposed to be a two week thing, isn't it? So why are they talking about six months? So a two week uh, thing, and they're talking about four week circuit breakers, six months. You know, it's not adding up. What they're saying is not adding up. And all these are approved by government ministers to avoid public panic. But none of them are saying the same thing. They're all saying different things. So it's designed to confuse people, confusion and fear. There you go. Scottish people have been told they can't go to places in England because... Of that, you know, extra officers deployed in Liverpool's leaders would welcome army's support. Army's support now. Don't forget, this is the one. This is the place that um, lawful peaceful rebellion has been stated to the local council, and Liverpool, the leaders of the council there are saying they will welcome the army's support. So in other words, we need you to intimidate the population here because they are rising up. You know, this is what's going on in the UK. Uh, what's happened at the top of the tree um, with that? What's that? 